promising signs if you're a fan of British archery. Put on a great show here as well, Archery GB. Welcoming all the teams. Time to go for gold here. Let's go down to the shooting line. Well, an interesting match up here. Hazel Burun of Turkey. Target number one going up against Andrea Mochia of Italy on target number two. And there is Mochia. Hello, we've seen Mochia a couple of times this week. She's appeared in medal matches. We've seen two different sides of her as well uh, a couple of days ago. Absolutely nailed focused. You couldn't take her eyes off it. Yesterday, she looked a little bit more relaxed and actually shot a little bit more comfortably. We haven't seen Burren here yet, uh, so she comes with a little bit of a disadvantage having not shot on this field. I think it's a little bit of disadvantage for sure, but a few of her teammates have shot on this field, so hopefully they've communicated with her about what to expect and what it's like and everything like that. Whereas her opponent has shot here herself, so she can just figure out from what she's experienced yesterday. Arguably the best conditions that uh, Machia has experienced though on the field here. It's, it's completely, well not quite settled, but you can see that wind is just a little gentle breeze now. Yeah, it's different, but we don't know what it's like on the practice field either. So perhaps if it's windy over there, they could be sighted in for that. And you can have that issue as well. Not just how it is on the competition field. All the other archers that have come out here just drifting off to the left for a 26. Big opportunity for a, a big lead here for Machia. Oh, that was some big movement. I don't know whether that was nerves or a bit of wind. Well, I think right at the end of that, she did run out of time. Had a big bit of movement, tried to come back on target and aim well, and then she was short on time and just had to execute. It, it looked like that movement was almost like was from her ankles. The whole whole of her body moved backwards and then sort of rocked back into place. Yeah, it happens. Uh, we call it sway, postural sway. It happens with some people. Some people do it naturally, and then it's not as if you're just like blown a little bit or lose a little bit of balance or full draw. It's very easy to happen. Uh, a lot of our stability does come from our stance, so I personally would say an open stance is a little bit more stable in the wind. I don't know what it is that she does, but a lot of youth archers go a little bit more closed and a lot of their shooting becomes more bone alignment, kind of recurve-like, rather than the classic compound that you see with the seniors. A lot of that is just less strength, so instead of using more muscle, they'll use more bone, and then also just to protect their scars and everything because they're still growing kids. Well, we saw uh, a little bit of a mixture of emotions there. Could have been a massive lead, but what it means for the neutral is we're all square going into this second end. Burren. I'm sure it will be comforting for her, though, to know that even though she had that bad arrow, she hasn't actually lost anything in terms of where she is in the match. So it's almost like we're reset back to the beginning. Now, I said that the wind was dying down, uh, but Burren held on to that one for quite a long time. See some movement again from her. It might be a case of nerves, although you can see the flags moving behind her. Nice 10 to recover, though, from that 7. It's just what she needs. I think she glared that one into the 10, didn't she? A lot of focus on her face, for sure. <laughs> Uh, 
impressive from Byrne. Currently marked as a 29, but... She still doesn't look very happy, though, about it, does she? Still looks a little bit uncomfortable coming back. What on earth is going on with the third arrow from Machia? That's the second time in a row that she's dropped the third arrow. She gets uh, through to a 53 by my calculations. Uh, anything in particular? Well, she's, she's kind of giving us an indication of what happened. I think she just got a bit nervous and dropped her front arm when it when it went off. She's she's talking about it there. She's saying, you know, like I was I was steady and I was in the middle and just at the end I it, it dropped and it probably was a little bit lack of pressure. So, you know, as we were saying earlier, you've got to be really the same with your pressure on the front and the back. And if you lose a little bit on the back, then normally you fall on the front and vice versa. If you fall too much on the back, then your front arm and your front aim will raise high. Yeah, it's, I think it's a, it's very difficult for the unofficiated to, 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 to see what's going on. But you hear the coaches talking about keep moving, keep moving. You're talking about pushing and pulling, pushing the front hand, pulling with the back hand in equal measure. That's effectively what you just said. Yeah, it's about the pressure and, and just keeping them equal. It doesn't necessarily have to, you don't have to like pull the bow apart and be really aggressive in, in the shot, but it just needs to be completely equal and balanced with the front and the back just because the way our bows work. As we said, there's a, there's a hard wall on it. You can't do one more than the other. Otherwise, you won't be able to aim well. I recommend a bit of yoga if you're into archery. Pushing and pulling at the same time to keep your balance. Ochia here, trading by two into the third end. She's been dropping her third arrow yeah. per end, but has been striking in the middle of the target regularly with arrows one and two. She's back in the tens here. You have to say, the momentum at the moment is with Takia's barrel. Looked like a really nice shot from her, probably the best one that she's done. You can see her at the end of that, she just tried to drag her bow across and save it, as we call it. So I'm guessing it probably broke a little bit left and then tried to drag it back and didn't quite manage to do it enough. Bit of bow quando, we call it in commentary towers. <laughs> that was a much nicer shot from her. It's been a brilliant end from Byrne. She came in with a two-point lead and she's built that one up to four points. It was another dropped arrow, this time the second one from Mochia. And tricky times for her. Contrast on the Turkey side of the shooting line as Hazel Byrne leads by four. Ella, have you ever played golf? No, actually, no, I haven't. I'm getting, I'm getting a feeling that uh, Mochia uh, is having the same experience as I get when playing golf. You can play an absolute blinder of a shot, and then the next shot, you've got no idea why, but it goes off in the wrong direction. And that <laughs> seems to be what's going on here. Well, hopefully, I think she, hope, I think she does know what's going on at least here, so she can correct it. And if not, she does have that coach behind her to be able to help her either correct the mistake or just get it out of her mind and reset for the next end. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Having that coach there is so important, isn't it? And not to the coach is, is, is critical. I mean, you wouldn't get to where you've got to without a support team around you. Yeah, the people around you are so important, partly for your technique, partly for your equipment, but also for your mind. I mean, the coach I have that I see at home for things with to do with like my shooting and technical is not the same person that comes away with me abroad and is behind me on the line and they do have really different roles the person behind you abroad you just want them to be super confident in you and you need to trust them so much so they can just give you that confidence when maybe you don't have it yourself we're well, talking about trust and Machia they're trusted in herself to completely restart her draw she ran out, almost ran out of time, but somehow managed to get a 10 with her first arrow. And as you can see, has closed the gap up by a single point. Penultimate end here. It's just a little bit out high in nine, but 
It's all very nice, and she had a little nod at the end, so she knows why. I think she's starting to get back into the rhythm, just whether it'll be enough. <laughs> A little bit of shaking on the front again, if you can see. You saw her gesturing. She was showing her like front hand kind of swinging, so what we call talking of the bow. So maybe a little bit of nerves her doing that, or maybe a little bit of freeze, but that's what she could feel, and her aim wasn't so good, and then it flew out left, sorry, right. Well, it's been a tricky matchup for Andrea Mochia of Italy, uh, by contrast, Hazel Burrant, well, it's never really that surprising seeing a handy Turkish archer, is it? No, they're, they're pretty impressive, actually. We've seen a lot of Italians and Turkish archers today out on the field, and both of them have a really good compound program and do really well, both in the juniors and in the seniors, so it's not surprising at all, that's for sure. And overall, anything in particular picking up on Burns' technique? Well, she's sort of telling us everything that's going wrong with her, but Burns just quietly building up her lead. Yeah, it has it's become a lot more solid when she started off. It, her front arm wasn't wasn't so strong and wasn't so steady. There was a little bit of movement. It never really had the direction to the shot. But then I think in the second or third end, um, I think it's more the second end, she got that back and you can see like when she finishes her shot that front arm is still pointed directly at that turn and her back is really straight and smooth through the shot and that gives a lot of direction and accuracy to the shot hers is quite different actually from her opponents watch it trails by six points this is a big ask but she goes first and she's going to want to put down some big scores <laughs> Or her arrow has fallen off and she's had to come down and reset. It's going to be a little bit short on time, so whether she can still make a good shot. Yeah. Should really great to be able to manage a nine with that trickiness. This is one I'm sure she's very happy that she has the lead that she has. <laughs> Just got a feel for Machia, especially if she does know what's going wrong. It, it could be incredibly frustrating. Yeah, it definitely yeah. is. Especially when things are going so well on the other side of the shooting line. That looked like a really nice shot from her. I know it wasn't a 10, but it looked a lot more comfortable and confident than some of the other ones. So I think it's a nice way to finish for her. Better five for the win for Burren and she finishes in the middle of the target with a 10 and uh, she takes uh, this match oh, well with a, a very clear win there Hazel Burren of Turkey has just taken the European title we have to wait for confirmation but I mean it was such a commanding lead that even Mochi has come over to celebrate early with her it's always the tricky part actually at the end of the match when you know you have won or lost but you still have to wait for them to go and do the scoring and you never really know what to do obviously there's the classic hold your bow and take the photo and then after that i just walk around not really knowing where to go or or how to act <laughs> <laughs> 